Adding match line to dependent views. We can add a match line. It's like a sketch line that shows the stitching between the two different views, in our case, a left and right view. So what we want to do is go to the primary view, in my case is first floor, of what the dependents are. Here I have my left, here I have my right. We want to go back to the primary view. Once we're in our primary view, we want to come down to our view uh, control bar and I want to click on show crop region. I click on show crop region it shows me the crop lines. I can see here the crop lines for the right side and I can see here the crop lines for the left side. What I want to do is draw a line down the center here. To do so we want to go up to our sheet composition in our view tab. So we go to our view tab, we go to sheet composition. In the composition we go up to match line. We click on match line and we come down in here and we're ready to draw a line. And I'm going to pick a line here and I'm going to draw it straight down. We can draw with any of our draw tools here. And I'm going to come straight across to here. And when I'm done I can come up and finish the, the edit mode. When I finish the edit mode, uh, I now have my uh, match line in both my views. So it shows me my match line on the left, it shows me my match line on the right. And I can also go back to my first floor and I can pick on my match line you can see I have match line and I can constrain it. I have my top constraint uh, go up to any particular floor and so I can have it go up to the third floor only or the fourth floor or the roof and so that it has a match all the way up to each floor if we decide then we want to have a left and right on the second floor and the third floor etc. We only have to put in one match line if we do this or we could leave it unlimited which is what it is by default. So match lines allow us to have a graphical representation of what's being split in two of let's say where the stitch line is between the two different dependent views.